Easter Sunday Easter Keister and I have to so I have to put Eddie's or Marley's little toys in her little Easter eggs and Justin and I have to set up outside so we can go and scatter the eggs everywhere so exciting so let's do that hopefully she doesn't come in here she's very nosy squishes here and they look like this so we're just going to put them in oops I broke my a little egg here All right, we successfully got all of them scattered in the yard, in the flower bed. I think we did pretty good. All right, let's get to scavenger hunting. All right, y'all ready? Ready to go get him. Another surprise? Oh, oh no. Empty. <laughs> it was a rotten egg. What? <laughs> you got another surprise? Oh my goodness, you're getting all the eggs with the surprises in them. That's so cool. Oh, it's empty. It's empty. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's empty. Maybe there's more surprises. Let's go see if we can find some more eggs. Oh. No, 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 I'm talking about out there. Yeah, we'll go through them in a second. Go go get all the rest of the other eggs. <laughs> yeah, 
The golden egg, I think. Not, maybe not. Yeah, I thought it had something in it. Now she just wants to find the eggs that have surprises in them. Let's see. Oh, the golden egg has a surprise in it. Goodness gracious. Are there any more surprises? Yeah. Yeah. We found the other one, so... Is that Easter egg hunting? I think she just wanted to see. The ones that have the surprises in them? Oh, there's another one. There's another surprise. Oh my god, you have so many. There's so many eggs. We got three. Two. Oh, did you see this one? Huh? Let's see you we got surprises. Where's the other surprises? I did the Stairmaster at the speed variating from level five to level three for about 20 or 30 minutes. Burned 300 and like 60 calories. No, I actually went to four, 400 calories. I was, there was a pool of sweat on my face. I had to go in the, um, hydro massage just to cool down i think i'm gonna do that all week for at least 20 to 30 minutes stairmaster uh level five 25 to 30 minutes to see the results because i ate really bad this easter weekend like it was it was bad i'm gonna head to hobby lobby which is right next door what is he doing because I do want to check out some of the uh, 4th of July. I know Hobby Lobby has all of their 4th of July out. I don't think any of it's on sale. A lot of the Easter is probably on sale. I don't know. I don't need any more Easter. But if I see any like cute bunnies, I'll grab them. So let's head there. Easter looks like it's only 66% off. And of course, this is all. I wanted this though. I may have to. Oops. There I go again. Dropping everything. We have to get this. How much is it? $8.99. So it's $3. I may go with this. And right around the corner, we have Proud to be an American. I think they have some new stuff this year. This is new. I have never seen this. This is really cute. Oh, that would be cute for the hutch. Hold on, let me get a basket because I don't want to film this and hold this in my hand. Hold on. Alright, so let's go back to the little... I like all of these because I can add them to my um, hutch here. That's really cute. I really love popsicles. I have to come back and get these. Oh, this one's broken. Fine. We're going to wait till they go on sale, girl. But they have some cute little stuff. These are cute. I'm not into too much glitter, but that's cute. What else? I don't remember seeing the Nutcrackers last year. Are those new or am I tripping? Or these. I don't remember seeing these either. The cupcakes. And they light up. Cutesies. So they have a bunch of stuff for the yard. I may get some yard steaks. I'm, I really wanted to get some spring ones, but I don't know why I passed up on them. So I may do that for the 4th of July. Look at these. 
Oh, this is gonna be cute for the hutch. I'm gonna really, really deck it out with the little tiny pieces that they have, so. A bunch of cute stuff to look forward to. Popsicle parlor, it's cute. Oh, these look new, the little, they look antique-ish. see what else they have. I'm not really into like the earrings, but they have some if you are. They have bandanas, they have headbands for girls, jewelry. I'm assuming these light up. A bunch of cool stuff. Crafts here, ribbon. Bunch of ribbon. And I don't own a for the July yard sign, I don't think. But look how cute those are. Let's see what else they have. You know, these, uh, what do people use these for? Do these go in the yard? Because I would think to put this in the yard. In my flower bed, like, lighting my sidewalk. I don't know what else to use those for. They have a bunch of garland. Not a big fan of it, but it reminds me of summer. They have beaded garland. This is pretty. So much cool stuff to look forward to. Look at these stars here. Red, white, and blue. How? There I go again, dropping everything. These little, y'all. It never fails. When I'm out looking for something, drop everything but these little firecrackers are cute to put like on a table not so much outside but on a table they have the faux pampas i've never seen this before in red white and blue it's a little tacky for me but somebody likes it there's another row i thought we were done but there's more it looks like more of the signage they have the, is that a bull or buffalo? It's gotta be buffalo. More signs, home sweet home, America. These are really cute for summer. Love this. When I think about 4th of July, I think about popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. This is the memory that I have growing up. We always had popsicles on the 4th of July. Oh, they have placemats. If you're into those, they have the plates that they have every year. And the napkins. These straws are pretty cool. For the 4th, of course, if you want to do bake some goodies you have your colored sprinkles i like to get like all of the plates and stuff at the end of the season so you can use for next year because that stuff will be dirt cheap that was more but it just looks like all of the stuff that they're eventually going to move to the front because it's pretty much the same same stuff back here Let's see what's on this end cap yeah more of the little tiered items and another full aisle of stuff that they're going to move up front I didn't see these though look at this that's adorable I may have to do one of these as well this is $2.99 so cute oh, this sign here that's really cute for I don't know, for the kitchen or the front door or this celebrate sign. I like that. Is it $10? I'm trying to hurry up before it completely falls, whatever that was. Yeah, this is $10 and this one is $10 as well. Those are really cute. All right, you guys, I just came back from Bath and Body Works and I just wanted to share with you what I found, what I got, blah, blah, blah. I just had a really big lunch and I gotta go to the gym in like a few hours so I am not 
Okay. The first thing I found was this ice lemon pound cake. You guys know I love strawberry pound cake. Excuse me. It smells amazing. It is one of the best fragrances from uh, Bath and Body Works. So when they came out with this ice lemon, I was like, ooh, this might be good. I walk around smelling like a cake. One of my favorites. So at the top of the list, there is strawberry pound cake and ice lemon cake. Love it. Definitely go in and give it a sniff. I only purchased the body cream because I just use it for like, I don't use this on my entire body. I use it mostly for hand cream because it's a little bit thicker in consistency. So I love it. I need all summer. This is going to be me also. I also picked up the Bridgington diamond of the season candle now this was the only candle that i wanted to grab from this collection because it smells the best the notes on it are sparkling peach spring daffodil radiant jasmine um with natural essential oils so I don't, i'm not i'm not too big on jasmine but i think that peach is what i smell and that's what i like so and the packaging is really fancy this is, gives like a a felt feel it's so cute love this the only thing i didn't like about this was the original price was 32.95 of course i went in when there was a candle sale because i'm not about to pay almost 40 dollars for a candle i was really upset at the amount that i paid for this one which was like it was 10 dollars off of this so this was like the regular price of like a Bath and Body Works candle, so like $22. So I really wanted this one. I actually thought that they were gonna be sold out, but they had plenty, so I don't know. Um, are people not really into the collection? Cause I just, I honestly thought the collection would be sold out. So let me know, have you smelled it? Do you like any of it? Are you a fan or not? I also grabbed watermelon lemonade. These are my go-to spring summer fragrances strawberry pound cake and the last one is I always oh, almost drop that you should see molly's face i always burn this in the kitchen uh sugared lemon zest this is really nice marley i almost dropped that it would have broken well don't make it worse mom i'm you, i'm sorry i won't this one smells really good and it will light up your entire house. So I re-upped on some candles because I was down to my last strawberry pound cake candle. They're being sporadic with these sales. So, um, yeah. All right. Buckle down and got a new couch today. Kind of changed up my mind about what I got only because the table is so big. But I think I'm gonna like, we're unboxing the couch. All right, so we got it centered a little bit, but I love it. It's huge. It's way bigger than the last couch. So I have a lady coming to pick this up. I just sold it. My computer table is gonna go over here. Um, these pillows, I'm gonna put on my bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna put those on the bed in the bedroom cause they are, girl, this is too much. This is giving me anxiety. Why do I need all of those pillows? They came with one, two, three, four, five pillows. Too much. Uh-uh, this was too much, but I think I like this better. I didn't get the couch with the the leg extend because we made the table so big, but I think I love this so much. Right, I think I'm late. I'm at the Target dollar spot, and I was actually looking for these, but this is the only one. But these are really heavy for $5. I think I missed all the colors, though. They're all gone. They're all gone. Do you have a few of their summer items? Hey there, summer. This is cute. If you're decorating in with color in your kitchen, I love these. 
it's like green on the back. And it looks like we got, I think that went with something. And these little peachy ones. Those are cute. I like, I really like these mice. Me too. You, you like that? That's really pretty. Sorry. <laughs> so there's more little, these are so cute. What is this the shape of? A seagull? Am I? It's a bird, it's a pelican. And then they have the cactus, which is really cool. Oh, this stuff is so summery, I love it. Is this a bowl? It is a tortilla warmer. And they have it in orange as well. This looks like a onion topping bowl with lid. So you put your chopped onions in there, tomatoes, avocado, so cute. And it comes with a lid. That comes in handy. I saw these pictures here. If you were holding a party, these would be so cute. Five dollars for the pictures. They do have it in a blue, blue and green, and they also have these little cups, <laughs> which are really cute little plastic cups. I actually got Addison a few of these little marshmallow marshmallows, mushrooms. Uh, they had so many colors when I came in here one time before, but now they're all good. I really need some <clears throat> pots for the front of the house. I showed y'all some from Hobby Lobby that were uh, $200, and they're only doing 40% off. Justin and I were at Lowe's, and they had some for, I want to say those are $80 as well, but these are from Home Goods. And they're eighty dollars a piece. I am so tempted to get these. Like so tempted. There were more back here. I don't like the design on these. They're smaller though. What about these? Let's see. These look a little gray. I don't know. I just don't like, or do I, or do I like the flower print on this? Let's see. A little cheaper. This one's only thirty-five. Oh, I see some red, white, and blue. It's coming. I have to show you this. Look at this at Home Goods. I can't really get in here to open it, but that is adorable. Oh my God. See? Stores are catching on to these DIYers. Look how gorgeous that is. I usually clock in around between 8.30 and 10 a.m. Why am I so close? And I was just thinking about that. Like, I woke up this morning and I, I had to go in office yesterday to sign some paperwork, like my, my annual like review and stuff. And I was talking to my supervisor and She's so laid back, like she just cut her hair. She looks so cute. It's crazy how much of a good 
place like my career is in and I'm so thankful I'm so thankful for it I'm so thankful for the opportunity that I was presented uh, with this job um, I don't have a set time where I need to clock in um, I'm working from home I have so much freedom like I was able to work on my house in the course of me being like a work from home employee just so much stuff that I'm like so sorry I'm so grateful for and I was just having a conversation with her yesterday sorry I just I literally just woke up I washed my face and brushed my teeth because I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat for breakfast I was just having a conversation with her and the place that I was at before before this was so physically demanding mentally demanding that like I started gaining weight I started being like really stressed out it was just not a good place and I sat there and I asked the universe I was like please can you please oh please oh please get me out of this situation and get me into something that will ease my mind make me comfortable you know let me focus more on what I like and I don't know if I told y'all this, but man, if you don't shut up, I know that you're done. When I got this job, I was working in office and I'll say a year into it, talks of like everybody working from home was like floating around the office. And it's only like seven, seven of us, honestly, it's not, it's not a lot of us, you know, and the talk of like float, working from home, working from home was, was like floating around, but I was going to be the last person considered to be like a work from home employee. So it literally went in one ear and out the other because I was just like, well, if I'm the last person, then nobody's really going to, I'm not going to go home first. October, no, no, no. Two years, I've been officially working from home for two years. Two years ago, you know, like on a random September month they were like oh by the way everybody's gonna be working from home and we're gonna send Natasha home first so I was like blown away because I was not expecting that like I said I was I thought I was gonna be the last person sent home even if they considered it and my manager walked up to me she was like would you like to work from home or do you want to come in every day I was like I'm working from home, Miss Ma'am. Like, that's not even a question. Like, let me pack my computer and go. I've loved it ever since because, again, the freedom that I have, I'm not really tied down to the computer. You know, I can clean the house. I can go out and get lunch. It's it's just so refreshing. And I think back where my mom had just passed. Justin planned a trip for us. And I told them about the trip in advance. They gave me the okay. A week before the trip, they told me I would be penalized if I went on the trip because of work being so demanding. I went on the trip anyway, girl. I, 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 I Look, I, if I told y'all something in advance, that's me warning y'all. Y'all got to figure it out after that. So, again, when I came back, they wrote me up. I put my two weeks notice in. The next week so and it, it was just so funny that um, when I put my two weeks notice in this job has sent me an uh, email saying they wanted to set up an interview so girl I was I was literally doing this on a whim I was like I don't care if I get hired from this place or not I'm just not gonna be here like if I have to be unemployed I will be <laughs> because the you know I'll never forget I'll never forget the day that I turned in my two weeks notice they called me in the office and they were like they were almost shocked you were supposed to let us take advantage of you and just take it on the chin like they were i was sitting in the office with my two managers and they were they were shocked like what do you mean you're putting in your two weeks notice it's right there i'm putting in my two weeks notice i would have never i would have never done an employee that i can rely on like that I would have never, 
ever ever done that you you want a break like your mom just passed like get out of here like go take a mental break like we'll figure it out because i need you okay when you're at work you know i just i just sit here and i think i'm so i think about how grateful i am with this opportunity with this position and i was just you know going in yesterday talking to the manager you know just the people they're so accommodating you know they're not micromanaging and they realize outside of this job you have a life and i understand that so but today uh marley sleep in my room for some reason like she just that's another thing it's it's april now marley starts school in is it less than five months so i'm not gonna have my baby here with me y'all everybody was like put her in daycare she needs to be you need a break she needs to be around kids i could do it y'all i can't i thought about it i tried i couldn't do it like my babies are my babies like they're mine i want to hold on to them as long as i possibly can i know i'm going to miss her when she goes to school just miss her little voice every morning and it's just so heartbreaking that she's growing up on me like it's not fair Addie starts high school oh my god y'all remember when Addie was born Addie was a baby now she's starting to have like what what is happening I'm just man am I about to start my period like what's going on but you know I don't have anybody to go Halloween shopping with this year, you know, decor shopping with anymore because she'll be gone. She'll be at school, so. Anywho, so with that being said, random, we're looking for black pillows because I need something to throw on the couch because it's the gray is throwing me off. Let's look at those. Pull those out for me. Yes. Let's hope they're not $35,000. Of course, they're $30. But the, that's what I need. $30. Hmm. Anything else? Yeah. For the couch, I mean, that would be cool if I did it on one side. I was, I was talking about using that I think side. I okay, I think I've given up on my tripod. Probably just need to order, go ahead and order me a new one from Amazon because I can't find the little holder for it. But I did purchase some black pillows because I felt like the gray was just too much and the only little pop of black that i had was from the throw blanket so i'm going to try and um just add some black pillows to it just to see how it looks let's see so these are the pillows they were a little expensive for my taste 30 dollars from home goods but i didn't really feel like trying to order something try to find something somewhere else so i just grabbed these let's see if these will work i just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one All right, I think this looks much better The pops of black were exactly what I needed I knew it I love those striped ones there But they were just clashing a little too much with the couch So I'll probably rotate them out ever so often But yeah, I love it now. What you guys think? Of course, I'm watching Halloween vlogs in April because I'm so excited for the season. But I have to tell you about this candle. Oh my God. It smells so good. I can't even describe the way it smells in the house. Like it's just, it's soft, it's springy. 10 out of 10 with this candle you guys can see i started burning the watermelon lemonade i had to stop burning it because i was just like i'm gonna see how the throw is on this bomb.com but 
I love it. I have to get at least two more of these. Don't have to repeat.